I think it's classic. We got a one. Let me turn the game off and couldn't turn it back on. And, you know, you can't do that with a team like this to shoot threes like they do. Um, we just shut it down too early. And actually, I thought we shut it down the second half. I, you know, the, our second group came in there and did a great job, got the 18 points. And uh, a lot of it was we were scoring really easy. And when you do that, you have a temptation of thinking that, oh, we'll just outscore them tonight and it gets you in trouble. And we almost paid for it. Why, well, those are decisions you got to make. I wanted to rest them, uh, but uh, I wasn't comfortable with 16 or 14, whenever they got back in there. And just when anytime you got like Eric Gordon on the floor or Ryan Anderson, you just cannot relax. And uh, they went small. I couldn't get Powell back in there because of uh, uh, the way the lineup was. And, uh, and again, if we should have knocked them out earlier. They played well, too. Got to give them credit. And, and uh, Monty does a great job with them. But he's got to take care of business, knock them out, and go on the next game. We just didn't do it. Yeah, Earl's, Earl's playing. He's very live. And um, I, thought he, I thought he played great. I, I, thought the, I thought Earl, Jody Meeks, Antoine, uh, Powell, when he was in there, Steve Blake, I thought gave us good minutes. So there were some really good things to take out of this. Our second group played really well tonight and that's something that's going to be really important going forward. I know you got through this game and you think about what's coming up. What kind of reception do you think Steve Nash is going to get to his Great. Great. Yeah. Kidding me? It'll be super. It'll be exciting for him, I'm sure. Kobe uh, wants to see the meaning of the game show. He's playing great. I mean, that's what we needed. Uh, that's what he's doing. Um, making baskets when we have, have to have them. Uh, he's drawing double teams and uh, and I think Nash is the perfect guy to play off of him. And um, it helps both their games. Well, yeah, my expectations right now, and, uh, you know, I don't want to sound crazy, but, well, I'm not crazy, but uh, maybe. But uh, <laughs> um, I think we can win every game, always. With the group that we have, we play like this. You can win every game. Obviously, you probably won't. Uh, they'll be nice with you know when the other team plays great. And you, but we play defense the way we're capable, and Dwight's leading that really well. Uh, we hit shots, which we now have a bunch of guys that can hit shots, not just one or two. Um, and we move the ball the way we're moving it. There's no reason that we don't win every game, you know, as, as a team. Right. Well, I think so. I mean, you know, I, I think winning and, and that, I think you hit it right. I think it's perfect. That's There's no way you wouldn't want to play this way. There's you know, there's no way. And uh, I think they feel it, and you can see it in their faces. You can see it in their body language, everything. And uh, uh, it's too bad it came so late, but I mean, better late than never. How different is the way you're playing now from the way you thought you're going to be as soon as playing this game? Exactly the way we're playing. You know, I didn't know about Earl Clark. I didn't know uh, uh, that Kobe could be so devastating that way. I didn't know that, uh, you know, I didn't have Steve Blake for a long time. I didn't know Jody Meeks at all. Uh, it took a while to trust him, get to know him, play with, see what fits. And uh, um, I didn't know Meta was such a good four. And there's a lot of things I didn't know. So I'm, I'm pretty pleased right now.